When 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 you shared this trailer and said we're going to watch this, I said Evil Geniuses. That is an esports team. This is not about an esports team, Ash. What is this about? It's the, a documentary about the extraordinary story of the pizza bomber heist and the FBI's investigation into a bizarre collection of suspects. Now, I never heard of this at all. I've never heard the word pizza bomber heist before. Have you? Uh, do you remember a movie a few years ago called 30 Minutes or Less starring Jesse Eisenberg? Yes. That's what that movie was based on. That can't have been close to what it was like. No. They, ma they made it into a black comedy, but obviously it was... Okay. Because that's that was like, hey, you gotta like take this to this place or we'll blow something up or whatever. Like some random yeah. pizza dude. So that's the premise for this? Like that's, I suppose... What that's happened? what that was based on. Okay. So, so like, this is like the documentary. The real, real shoot. Not Jesse yeah. Eisenberg and... I can't remember who else is in there. Danny McBride, I think. That does seem about right, yes. Yeah. That does seem about right. All right, let's watch the trailer. We got him out of the car and helped him. I start hearing a beep. His eyes just got real wide. Potential hostage Good sent Lord. into the bank with an explosive around their neck. Something like this had never happened before in the history of the FBI. For being a small town, Erie has its share of bizarre events, but there is nothing that raised so many questions as this case. The call was made to the pizza shop at 1.30. Brian Wells drove to the site where the pizzas were to be delivered. The man told police that he was forced to rob the bank. But the FBI believe that whoever built the caller is patient and secretive. Brian Wells here, he was supposed to go on a scavenger hunt. And he was supposed to go from point A to point B to point C, where the keys would be given him to release this bomb. This is some fucking jigsaw shit. The purpose <laughs> of the bomber plot? Money. How could this happen? Who's the mastermind? Please, what's your emergency? There's a woman that you might want to question. He's the one that did it. He and his co-conspirators. Oh my god, did it! Duplass Brothers. <laughs> yeah, again. <laughs> what the fuck? They didn't have DNA, fingerprints. The bomb had wires that didn't mean anything to prevent the bomb squad from tampering with it. Do you make the bomb? No. Liar! It's a bank robbery, but it's a scavenger hunt. Guy has a cane gun, and it was actually loaded. She did not actually said, hey, let's rob it back. She laughed about it. She said, I got away with it. Was Wells a victim or participant? When you have a bomb off to your neck, it became a diabolical game to them. It's fucking intense. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's like, it's. I, I always appreciate when, like, uh, I'm watching a, a, like, a trailer for a documentary or something based on, like, pretty fucked up things, and yeah. I get, like, that little bit of, like, oh, like, oh, yeah, like, they could still be out there, kind of, oh, but they're not, yeah. but, oh, that's, and, yeah, most interesting, the most interesting thing about that, I thought, was the Duplass brothers, who I didn't yeah. realize were suddenly just going to spam out all these fucking Netflix documentary yeah, series. as a Wild Wild Country, right? Yeah, they did Wild Wild Country, which only dropped two, like, what, month and a half ago, I suppose. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. I wonder how, if they're more banked up in the bank. This is, that's, that's weird. Of Maybe. course, they're like, they're not, like, directing it on, like, all that sort of stuff, but they are the ones. It, it financing is, it all. Financing or whatever, to some degree, these, these things. And once again, like this, much like Wild Wild Country, which if you haven't watched, you should watch because it is fucking amazing. Um, this is again something that was a huge event that I have no fucking idea about. Maybe it's because I don't live in America. I suppose I don't know if it was a big, big, huge story here. Maybe I don't yeah. pay enough attention. I don't know. But like Wild Wild Country was a huge story when that when that was happening, and you gather that especially by watching it and then like looking up stuff after watching it. It's like how did I never hear of this? This is absolutely bonkers, and I didn't know anything about this. And I, I said when we talked about it on what do you want to watch. Uh, every second Friday, explosionnetwork.com. They, I really wanted to like just Wikipedia the, the, the like what happened. Yeah. 
And yep. this is the same fucking feeling again. We're watching that trailer and this is how you tell a good doco trailer. Uh, this is yeah. the go-to. It's like, it just makes me want a Wikipedia <laughs> like to find out what happened because it's that intriguing. Yeah. But then it's it's like, well, it's out in... May like, 10th. A couple so like days. less than a week. Basically. <laughs> really. <laughs> you know, less than a week. So um, just hopefully, hope for a good old binge on that one without the, yeah. the, the Wikipedia. What do you reckon? Yeah, it looks great. Um, I'm intrigued to see what what happens. It, I'm fucking. It's interesting that Netflix is doing a lot of these docos, doco series now. I suppose, I suppose there's like so many people. Like, it doesn't cost much for Netflix, right? Like, I can't especially imagine. especially if a lot of these are already if, like if Netflix is just picking them up for disp- distribution. I guess. Yeah. Like they're not funding them for development like so let's i don't know exactly the behind the scenes of all this but you can imagine g plus brothers maybe get involved with it before the whole netflix thing so they helped fund it to a degree help get it up on the road helped yeah the project start coming along and then when they're looking at distribution go to netflix yeah that's when they get it so and netflix buys it for x amount of dollars but it certainly wouldn't be the amount of dollars that they're spending funding from ground zero something you know like wasn't I? No, no, Elation wasn't a straight up fucking like. What's a like a big budget Netflix movie, for example? You know, something like well, they're funding from Day Zero. So anything by Adam Sandler. Well, there you go. That is a good yeah. That's a that's yeah. a very good example. So yeah, I suppose that's the way to go. Plus, Netflix is has a lot of success with making a murderer. Yeah. And they haven't had, haven't had a chance to replicate or haven't pulled off the success of making murder since it came out and i don't think they will because that was a very like you kind of just grabbed everyone online to pull into that story much like serial yeah. did with season one with the a need or whatever that guy's name was like it was very similar like people very synthetic to yeah. the case because it was still kind of happening. The or whatever. yeah part of the zeitgeist guys getting into it because it was still happening and whatever else in the background so um but i feel like they're kind of still trying to pick up the documentaries to follow up on the back of that and with World War Country and then this, it's going to be hard to reach the end of the year and not, not say Netflix hasn't pulled out a bunch of great series. Because they, they could put out shit TV series. And, like, as far as I'm concerned, Docos are still TV series. Like, it's probably yeah. an eight-episode hours eight episode series. I don't, like, sit it in different categories. So it's like all the Mar- Marvel Netflix shows this year could be trash. But if they put yeah. out several of these Doco series, it's, it's still as good as a great first season of um daredevil or something i suppose yeah um what are you gonna give it i give it two thumbs up two thumbs up yeah i give it two thumbs up. need to see it (laughs) very excited for this one 